No, I, I don't think so. You didn't do very well on your report card this last quarter, so... No. You haven't been pulling your weight around here lately. You want help? Well, I wanted help with the dishes last night. Help yourself. Huh? Honey, did you bring the marshmallows? How could any normal parent casually stand by and watch their child burn to death? Even if that son or daughter was rebellious or disobedient, is there any sane mother or father that could even bear the thought of their child burning eternally? Never. Yet much of the Christian world is taught that our loving Father in Heaven is going to eternally torture His lost children in a molten inferno of fire and brimstone, forever burning through endless ages, never consumed, all this for the sins of one brief lifetime. Not a happy thought. Well, I've got some good news. This sadistic depiction of hell is not what the Bible really teaches. The scriptures are clear. The wicked will be punished, and there is a lake of fire where they're devoured. But firstly, the Bible does not teach that anyone is burning in hell now. Jesus clearly said, it is at the end of the world when the wicked are cast into a furnace of fire. Again, Christ said, when he comes, then he'll reward everyone according to his or her works. Secondly, the scriptures do not teach that the wicked will burn there perpetually throughout all eternity. The scriptures tell us the wicked will be burned up. They are consumed. They're devoured. They perish. Jesus said both soul and body are destroyed in hellfire, and there will be no more sorrow, crying, or pain following the judgment. To hear the whole good news about hell, visit this website, helltruth.com. It's all from the Bible. You don't need to be afraid anymore.